So we are talking about a 45-year-old gentleman who has polycythemia vera. In April of 2015, he presented with uncontrolled disease signs and symptoms. He had a disease that required phlebotomy, but he had abdominal fullness and multiple systemic symptoms. Even with the control of the red blood cells, you may not have a good control of the symptoms. Right? We are talking about looking beyond just the red blood cell count when you talk about introduction of cytodactyl therapy. And apparently, at that point in time, he was given hydroxyurea to control the counts and to control the symptoms and abdominal fullness. Now we have a, a patient coming back six months later. His dose of hydroxyurea from initial, which is standard, 500 milligrams a day, was increased to a 1,500 milligrams, quite a high dose, and he still has problems. He still has enlarged spleen. He has uncontrolled red blood cell count, the white cell counts are still elevated, the platelets are still elevated, he is not doing well. He needs something else. This is a good trial, a six-month trial of hydroxyurea, even with those adjustments, he is not responding. This is a clear-cut case of a refractoriness to the therapy with hydroxyurea, and one would certainly consider alternative therapies. Now, what alternative therapies can we envision? One is interferon, according to the guidelines, which might be useful in these patients. The issue is it is injectable under the skin, it may have side effects, it may not work or may not last for a long period of time. But with the development of ruxolitinib, a targeted agent for hyperactive JAK-SAT pathway, which is underlying biological problem in polycythemia vera, we clearly have an option to help these patients in all aspects of his troubles. So ruxolitinib in this particular case is valid and very desirable option because we are not talking only about controlling the red blood cells. We need to look beyond the red blood cells. Red blood cells are high, hematocrit is uncontrolled, high white cells, high platelets, abdominal fullness because of enlargement of the spleen and multiple systemic symptoms. Five factors can be, these five factors can be very well controlled with the introduction of ruxolitinib and that would be my suggestion for this patient who is clearly refractory to hydroxyurea.